life with God is so good. So come join us on this fun life where we put God in the center of everything. And I sing, and I salute you now, the martyrs. For sake of Jesus, you are This weekend we are celebrating All Saints Day. And what, what is so interesting about this is that Halloween actually was All Hallows Eve, which is a complete different day than what it is now. It's just another example of how in, 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 in our culture, many holy days have been turned into holidays and kind of changed the definition and meaning of things. And I find it very interesting um, that they did that. That Satan's done that. Right. It's so sad because it was God's day and it was a day that every, every year on November 1st, which is October 31st in America, uh, so the Hebrew calendar starts at twilight. Well, bottom line, what happened was that it turned into goblins and, and graveyards and, and the Grim Reaper. But what it really was, and what God really intended for this, was to honor the martyrs. And so that's what we do here, uh, and we uh, still have candy for kids, but it's really about God. The world is celebrating a holiday called Halloween. We are here to bring back what was celebrated for centuries. And what's been done, Halloween is very, uh, very recent when it comes to world history. So we're doing what would be classical and what would be appropriate and uh, perhaps will be followed by so many that it will at some point be the norm and Halloween will be the abnormal. That is our prayer, that God gets back his day. And that is the whole reason why we're here. I feel like that what needs to be happening in the minds of those that are wanting to be transformed and they wonder how to be born again, and that is you have got to be thinking about the city that is beyond the skies. You've got to be thinking about this city, this kingdom city, this heavenly city that you cannot see with your eyes, but it is totally real. But the architect is God himself. And the author of life was his son. And the author of how to how to die in this life so that we can live for the next. What we get here tonight is a memory and a thought and a focus, even if it's for a short period, on the hereafter. And we're taking All Hallows Eve, an eve of all hallows, an eve of all praise to these martyrs that would go in and give their lives up their physical life on earth, give this earth up, and then to live for the hereafter. And that ought to be something we celebrate every day. We go back to Hebrews 11, and it is all about it. It is all about honoring the martyrs and all those. And it starts all the way with the creation of the earth, Abel and Cain, all the way to the present time of Paul. But it starts off now, faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we do not see. This is what the ancients were commended for. By faith, we understand that the universe was formed at God's command so that what is seen was not made out of what was visible. So in other words, like what it, it wasn't there. Nothing was here, matter wasn't here. Animals were not here, man was not here, but through the Word of God, it happened. But you have to have some faith to believe all that. As the chapter goes on, Paul's talking about all of these incredible saints who had to have faith, and they all died before they got what they believed was going to happen. So this is the end of Hebrews. I do not have time to tell about Gideon, Barak, Samson, Jephthah, David, Samuel and the prophets who thought faith conquered kingdoms, administered justice and gained what was promised, who shut the mouths of lions, 
quench the fury of the flames and escape the edge of the sword, whose weakness was turned to strength and who became powerful in the battle and routed foreign armies. Women received back their dead, raised to life again. Others were tortured and refused to be released so that they might gain a better resurrection. Some faced jeers and flogging while still others were chained and put in prison. They were stoned, they were sawed in two, they were put to death by sword, they went about in sheepskins and goatskins, destitute, persecuted, and mistreated. The world was not worthy of them. They wandered in deserts and mountains and in caves and holes in the ground. These were all commended for their faith, yet none of them received what had been promised. So bottom line, all these martyrs, look at what Satan has done so that the martyrs are not honored. And we want to make sure that uh, this fall, uh, that those leaves falling makes a difference in understanding that all of us, if you're called to be a Christian, will go through persecution and will go through uh, difficulties. But Hebrews 12 goes on to say that, hey, God disciplines those whom He loves, and you haven't, you haven't, uh, you know, suffered so much that you had to shed shed blood yet to lay down sin. So the whole purpose is to shed the body of sin, to have a new life, to be born again. The suffering gets rid of sin somehow. So instead of trying to avoid it all the time, embrace it and 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 honor with your children instead of just trick or treating or taking the day and make it into something that's not holy, let's bring back a holy day and make sure that we're teaching our children to honor God, Jesus Christ, the ultimate mar martyr, and all the martyrs that have been from Abel on that have set such an example for all of us to follow. Amen. The change of seasons, especially fall, is very symbolic to me because it, it, it basically coincides with what you're saying about how things need to die and then there's this death cycle to come back to life again in the spring and I always am very fascinated by that because it's just there's a tremendous metaphor there with with what um, with with what goes on with us in our lives nature kind of replicates that and I find it fascinating how God kind of orchestrated those things it is He's, he's letting us see yeah. what we need to do. And then from it, it becomes awesome. And then all the martyrs were all living for faith what you don't see. And that is the city beyond the skies. There is a end to this. And Jesus, in the end, is sitting at the right hand side of God. And that's something to live for. That's something to live for. So that's, we're, we're dedicating our life to that. Please join us in dedicating our lives to having faith in a beautiful outcome. If we give up here on earth, we will get it back later. Mm -hmm. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for joining us. If you have any questions or comments, please send them in. We'd love to hear from you. Love y'all. Love you guys. Bye. You were down to no wonder. And now you're waiting in that home by and by. Yeah. You're watching from that home by and by You're waiting in that home by and by Be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell so you are notified when we have a new video. Bye.